uh, I don't... That's right, we had a bunch of famous collaborators again for this one. There was uh, Bono, Bono, uh, in the corner, watching with his big shoes and his shades on, and what's his face out of Pink Floyd, just going bald on the sofa. The Everly Brothers popped in to do backing vocals, Uma Sharif on drums, Billy Butlin spoons, and looking very relaxed, Adolf Hitler on vibes, nice, Princess Anne on sousaphone, mm. and introducing Liberace there on clarinet, Lord Snooty and his pals tap dancing, and in the groove with Harold Wilson on violin, and in the on the ukulele, Eric Clatter, everyone. Thanks, Eric. Oh, I think this is Mmm, that's wonderful. Lovely little number there. That's Amarillo, folks, by us, Gorillas, featuring a standout vocal there by U2D. Your voice really is your saving grace, isn't it? I mean, your, well, your singing voice. Not the one you use for talking, which, quite frankly, is irritating. It's amazing, isn't it? How many people's singing and talking voices are, you know, so very different to each other. Sometimes totally opposite. Uh, what do you mean? Well, for example, Prince, the pint-sized purple sex magnet, his singing voice is all right up here, falsetto. But his talking voice is very deep. Michael Jackson, too, in a very high singing voice, but a very deep talking voice. Well, behind the scenes, apparently. Well, it was. And you, in here, I mean, you sound like Joe Pasquale. Right? OK. And on record, totally different. Totally listenable. Strange. Anyway, must move on. Ah, oh, my leg's gone to sleep, so I'm going to wake it up with this track by The Damned. This is Neat, Neat, Neat. Bobby Womack. Yes. Dear old Bobby Womack. Yes. Legend, soul pioneer, singer extraordinaire. What the hell did he want to get mixed up with you for? I, uh, just thought while we were... Still, whatever the circumstances surrounding this strange union, it did at least produce this little piece of magic. Can you uh, tell us uh, anything about this track, 2D? Yeah, it's a track that we recorded with Bobby Womack in Phoenix. And it's called? Uh, Bobby in Phoenix. Say what you see then, 2D. It's as simple as that. Here's Bobby in Phoenix. Can you, uh, can you bring your face a little closer for a second? Uh, OK, why? <laughs> Ow! Oh, I just wanted to see if that would have any effect. Bobby in Phoenix there with, uh, Bobby Womack. He worked with the Rolling Stones. He wrote and recorded It's All Over Now, you know. That was their first number one hit. It's one of my favourite songs by my all-time favourite band. Um... Right, right. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, really testing the limits of my patience. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to fix myself a nice warm arm for while you guys and girls out there can groove away on this. This is the Rolling Stones with Around and Around. Hit it, Keith. The thing about having your own radio station and being trapped on an island is that you don't have to adhere to any of the normal scheduling restrictions imposed by the usual stations. You can play what you want from any era for as long as you want. Here's Windy and Carl with Through the Portal. I went through a portal once. It belonged to a wizard. But that's another story. Hmm. Here's Wendy and Carl. Look out! Incoming! This is Murdoch Nichols from Gorillas, beaming out live from Plastic Beach and talking to our singer 2D, uh, which is rare because, well, frankly, I've never liked him and done everything I can to avoid talking to him over the years. <coughs> but today I'm talking to him about the new Gorillas release, The Fall, which was recorded behind the scenes on the recent American Gorillas tour mainly by this blue-haired plank sitting next to me. Hello! So, you just heard the track Snake in Dallas from the album. Squiggly little number there. The Snake in Dallas, yeah, yeah, I like it. It's very, uh, you know, using the music to conjure pictures of animals. Have you heard this? What's that? The Battle of the Locusts. It's by Aphrodite's Child. It goes like this. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. Right then, now, here's something rumbunctiously Congolese. This one's uh, rumbled its way all the way out from the Congo and is now sashaying out of your speakers. And if you listen carefully, you can hear me joining in on my small plastic trumpet. 
Um, I'm not sure the uh, musicians were uh, particularly happy with my performance as, uh, well, they did throw me out. But I managed to sneak back in to finish off the track with them about a minute later, which was good. Have a listen, see what you think. Uh, this is Enzorba, and it's by Franco, with me, Murdoch Nichols, on Toy Trumpet. Right then, uh, what's in the news today on this wicked evil planet Earth? Hmm. Right, let's see. Uh, President Obama resigns from the music industry, stating he can understand why everyone hates him and his success with Genesis in the 80s. Meanwhile, wonky titted cock juggler Katie Price has entered Libya at 130 miles an hour. Amy Winehouse, Iran's chief nuclear negotiator, resigns, having been cleared of ex Big Brother contestant Lady Princess Diana's car crash. She's all like, you know, whatever. Mass murderer Peter Andre is all geared up for a summer election, and Shane TV presenters Prince William and Harry will attend the final in Moscow, co hosted by my partner David Furnish. In other news, President Sarkozy chucks up his oil spillage into another no-fly zone. Sarah Palin is Jack Knight on the M4. And finally, as always, Kate Moss. And that's the news as it happens. All the time, every time. Right, enough of all that kind of rubbish. Let's come back from that with something else. This is a track from the brand new Kills album, Blood Pressures. And this song's called The Last Goodbye. Nice string. OK, you're listening to me, Murdoch Nichols, live in isolation on my plastic beach hellhole, surrounded by rum, pirates, missiles and records, slowly going insane, and talking to my partner 2D from Gorillaz about the new Gorillaz 4 record. This next track is for our drummer, Russell Hobbs, who recently returned to the Gorillaz fold. His great big frame loomed out of the surrounding waters and placed our long-lost guitarist Noodle back safe on dry land too. He's been missing for a while as Russell. Noodle too. Too. They both missed out on the whole plastic beach era of Gorillaz. The writing, recording the album, anything to do with the recent world tour, all of it. But, you know, it's good to have him back now. And Russell, he's enormous! Fortunately, so is this tune. Here's Harvey and the Phenomenals with Soul and Sunshine. Actually, while I'm on that uh, tip, uh, I'm going to drop this. This is a classic featuring probably all the greatest musicians that were playing at that time, all in one place. Here's King Curtis, live at the Fillmore West. It's Memphis Soul Stew. I'd uh, introduce the musicians, but that's what King Curtis does himself here. Cheers, Russell. Right, 2D, before Sound of America. OK, well, no, it's... Not the sound of America, it's the sound I made in different places in America. So it's the sound America makes? Uh, no, it, it, it's just recorded in different cities, uh, different tour buses, uh, different dressing rooms. I was using apps from the iPad, testing them out and just messing around with them when... What kind of apps? Well, loads of stuff like Speak It, which is a voice generator, Sound Thingy, which is a sound thingy... Keyboard apps like the Moog, uh, Philatron, Olsynth, M3000XD, BS16i, Dub Siren Pro. Fat Booth, Face Ache, Eye Beer, Instant Album. Uh, Magician, Electribe, Harmonizer. Ginger Booth, Time Waster, Nerd Synth, iGeek, You Twat. And with these, you made a scrapbook album on America. If you had to sum up Detroit in one sound, what do you think that sound would be? I think maybe it'd be a sound, something like this. <clears throat> OK, right. that's good. Well, I see. Yeah, and, and then what next? Then I'd do this. OK, yeah, I'm with you. Then I'd add a bit of this. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's good. There you huh? Uh, you see? Uh, you get that? Yeah. Right, yeah. I'll do that a couple of times. OK, nice, really nice. And then, right, i get into a bit of this. Yeah, yeah. like it and then I do a bit like this wow that's excellent 
a nice one. Can I join in? Yeah, yeah, why not? Well, can I do some vocals? Yeah, use this. This thing, that thing there, yeah, just, just, just speak into it. Uh, uh, yeah, um, uh, right, I think I've got it. Okay, here goes. Great, 2D. That really explains a lot. I'm just glad to help you. That was Detroit, a uh, track from the new Gorillaz release, The Fall. Right, um, shall we play some music? This is Lee Hazelwood and My Autumn's Done Come. I know how he feels. Oh, I need a glass of water. I'm feeling a bit giddy. OK, looks like we're coming to a close now. And uh, you have been lucky enough... Uh, to have been listening to me, Murdoch Nichols, from Gorillas on Plastic Beach, Hoyt Nemo FM, gorillas.com, at the end of Mission 2, talking to 2D from Gorillas about The Fall, the new release from Gorillas, his little iPad-assisted tour diary across America. And the next track I'm going to play is, well... I seem to remember playing this quite some time ago, January 2009, on a little station called Radio 1 over in London, in the UK. I think Steve Lamac was there, and uh, I made some uh, honking horn noises over some band's track. A track, I think, called America, ironically enough. Hmm, happy days. Seems so long ago now. And now, where are we? Stuck on an island, being shot at by pirates with only a mysterious book to reveal the meaning. I, I should really mention that too. Um, I found the beginnings, the first couple of chapters of that history book I was talking about. Riveting stuff, really is. Starts with a big bang and moves on from there, so it's quite in depth. Anyway, on a different note, I thought maybe I should revisit that track I played all that time ago on Radio 1 and maybe bookend this period, as you never know when or if you'll hear from me again. You never know. Here's Leslie Cerrone with Ain't It Grand, Loving World Dead. Well, it looks like they're closing in on me, folks. The dark is rising. The storms are kicking off, the island's cracking and jackboots are filling up the corridors. I'm pretty sure they'll be catching up with me soon. Though if I do get the chance, in the next and maybe the last instalment, I think I'll be telling you, no, the world, the truth behind all this, the real truth about the island, the live band, the boogeymen, the contracts, the tours, the world tours. The bounty hunters, everything. These will be my memoirs. The greatest story ever told by the greatest band to have ever walked the globe. And I'll broadcast it to the world. It'll be out there in the ether, floating around the universe forevermore. In fact, I might even put it in a book. A big, big book full of pictures, photos and images just to illustrate my point. Well, that's it. Say goodbye, 2D. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. For now. I'll be back, though. I'll be back.